Okay, boys and girls, so we are going to talk about magnets today. And you can see on here, there's the South Pole and the North Pole. And that is literally talking about the North and South Pole that is on our Earth. And that, and so it's talking about how things are pulled or drawn near each other. So we have two words that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the word attract. And we're going to talk about the word repel. So attract means it's to come together. So you might find somebody attractive. That, so that means that you think that they are pretty. And so on here we can see, so I like to have these whole kind of things of magnets to play with. And so right now, these magnets are attracted to each other and you can see how it draws it all in. So what it will do is the opposite ones attract. So on here, we can't, put it together because these are both north. So they will not attract, they repel. There's a force that's pushing them away. But if I go to the other side, these ones will come together. They will attract together. So a north and a south attract, but a north and a north repel. So that word repel, if we can think of repellents like bug repellent in which we try and push those bugs away so that they don't come near you. So on here, we don't see, they don't have a north and a south on here. But right now, this is a north and a south and they come together. So you can see if I put them on the table and I just move a little, they will attract together. Now, if I have it, if I flip it the opposite way, so this will be the south pole, these ones don't want to, so it's repelling. It's pushing it away. It will keep trying to maneuver and push away until it can flip around to the opposite one and attract. So this is where you can do some of those fun things and have little experiments and pretend that you are a magician. So, like, for example, I can take my good news and I put it on this piece of paper. And if I hold... Oh, sugar. These magnets are all attracting to each other. So if I hold it underneath, I can hear to make that magnet or the, the clip dance on my page. But it is because it is attracting to the magnet. So as I'm sliding it, it is allowing it to move because of the magnetic force that's invisible. But you can play a magic trick on somebody and you can slide that all around. So our two words are attract and repel. So attract means to come together, repel. If I have this, I can't put them together because they are resisting or they're repelling one another. So opposites attract and the same ones repel. So I wanna show you as you're doing this, um, you will be in IXL and we're doing the one on magnets. And so this is where we have it of where it is talking about South Pole and North Pole. So if these are together, will they attract to each other or will they repel? So that's the parts of where we're working on. All right. Have a great day.